Okay, real quick, I just want to talk about the Henry Cavill news. Those comments he made about the cinema, about the DC Cinematic Universe making mistakes and fixing them now. Um, I don't think he was talking about BVS. Like, I read the whole fucking, his, all his quotes. And it feels like he's talking more about Suicide Squad. And, you know, because that was like a cha- Like, that was a mistake <laughs> that Warner Brothers made. Trying to make Suicide Squad more uh, mainstream and shit. That, that was the mistake. They should have kept Suicide Squad the way David Ayer initially, like, you know, made the film. They should have just kept that. And, you know, every time I've heard Henry Cavill talk about Batman vs. Superman, he has nothing but praise for it, and all he does is praise Zack Snyder. So, yeah, I don't think he would fucking throw Zack Snyder under the bus. And, you know, he he didn't even come close to doing that. And fucking every news site is blowing it out of proportion. Clearly, critically, every DC movie except for Wonder Woman has not been good, critically. And that's what Henry Cavill said, right? And he was actually praising Wonder Woman, saying it's a great first step as far as critical reception goes, you know? He's not talking about the actual quality of the films, you know? He's not talking about uh, how people, the mainstream audience, is perceiving the films. He's just saying that critically, Wonder Woman is the start, you know? Now every DC film from now on is going to be at least a positive score in Rotten Tomatoes. At least that's what I'm getting at, like a positive critical score. That's at least, that's what Henry Cavill's trying to say. It's at least going to be that. So, And then he was talking about how now they can get the characters right and they don't have to worry about, you know, and they don't have to worry about shifting tones and whatnot, you know, which is understandable. I mean, you watch Man of Steel, you watch BVS, it is a shift in tone. Um, I don't give a fuck what anyone says. Man of Steel is not a dark movie at all. It's not dark at all. I mean, that is just a regular alien invasion film, right? In the same, like, vein as Independence Day or something, <laughs> you know? Is Independence Day a dark film, even though, like, millions of people die in that film? No. Like, it's not dark at all. And if you watch Man of Steel, it's shot completely differently than... Batman vs. Superman. Man of Steel is shot with a handheld the whole time. And Zack Snyder said he wanted to do that to make it feel like a documentary. Like a documentary cameraman's holding the camera and he's trying to capture Superman. You know? Like, that's that's the feeling he wanted to have for the movie. And in BVS, they went completely different direction with how they were approaching the camera. You know what I'm saying? But now that they they found their footing and shit, with Wonder Woman and uh, BVS, like we don't, we're not going to see a, like a huge tone change, like in Suicide Squad, how it just went from, you know, the first trailer was for Suicide Squad was, you know, it's really like sad, like dark, uh, gritty fucking movie, and then the last trailer for Suicide Squad is playing a fucking Queen song, and it's like it's so much fun, 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 you know that type of shit. But yeah, there's not going to be a lot. I, I understand where Henry Cavill's coming from, right? I understand what he's talking about. I don't think these news sites understand what he's talking about. They think he's talking about BVS. And he's really not. He's just talking about the critical scores all the fucking DC movies have gotten. I don't understand why everyone's getting so butthurt about this. Because we know, this is information we know already. He's just re- reiterating what we already know. Critically, Wonder Woman's a great first step. It means maybe future films critics are not going to be as harsh on them because of wonder woman that's what he's kind of saying like at least that's what i'm reading into it and they're not going to be changing up tones like that's all he really said anyway just wanted to get my two cents in there um you know just saw the story i just saw a couple videos and i read uh i read the original quotes that henry cavill had so i thought i'd get my two cents because i'm seeing it completely different you know like i don't think he would ever throw Zack Snyder under the bus. No way. These actors that work for Snyder, they fucking love him, dude. Every interview, there's nothing but nice things they say about Zack Snyder. And it's not like Zack Snyder is blackmailing them to say that, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's genuinely a good person. (laughs) He's not fucking out to get anybody. 
And every actor that works with him loves him. So that's what I think about that. What do you all think? Let me know down below. Uh, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.